This tutorial is about product launch advertisements, motion graphics in After Effects. Amazing and useful for any freelancer. So let's start it guys. First of all, I am going to create a one composition over here. Width and height is 19201080. Frame rate I am using 30 and duration I am using for the 3 second. And I am giving the name for this composition is start. Because we are going to create a three different frame for our motion graphics, advertisement motion graphics. So this is my first frame and here I am going to select my text tool first of all. So let's select my text tool and I am going to type over here my first word that is the new and L-A-U-N-C-H new launch. I am using the font called bigger and let's make the color change over here. So I am just going to change the shade into the white that is okay. Now let's align into the composition first of all and make it something like this. Okay, good enough. Now let's jump into the layer and into the animate and I'm going to apply the tracking animator on that one. Now what I will do, I'm just going to give the key onto the first keyframe and let me apply something like over here. So that's good enough like this one, 60. Jump for the 10 second and I'm going to make it a zero, something like this. Okay, let me remove this key from over here. We don't need this source key and now let's Let's jump into the graph editor and I'm going to change the graph something like this. Press Alt and then Shift and I'm going to select this. Press Alt and take it something like this one. Okay, so it should be animated something like this one. So that's good enough. And one more thing. So here it is. I'm just going to bring my product. This is the smartwatch over here. Now let me make it a little bit scale something like over here and let me apply. I want to scale this text layer also something like this. Okay, that's good enough and let's make our product also a little bit scale something like this so it will cover something our text and now let's apply our text layer as a mat on our smartwatch layer so let's apply the alpha mat so you can see that it is looking something like that I am playing a third resolution otherwise it look really amazing you can see that. So I am just jump again into the third resolution. So this is done. So this is our first composition we have created over here. Now let's create one more composition and I am just going to give the name as a mid and the same attributes we are going to use over here and let's make it okay over there. Now again what I will do I am just going to jump into the text layer and copy this text from over here. Let's jump into the mid comp and paste it over here. Now let's open the animator from this end. Uh, just cross over here and let's make it delete this animator from over here. Let's reveal our text and now let's make it a scale. Okay, that's good enough. And then what I will do, I'm just going to bring my, stop, my smartwatch again over here under the top of this one and let's make it a little bit scale. Okay, that's good enough. One more thing, if you can watch closely, let me make it a full resolution. There is some uh, not proper edges you can see that the cut edges over here so we have to remove this so for that what I will do is just select my layer jump into the effect go into the matte option and select the simple choker I am going to apply the value of 9 so you can see that it's removed and this look good nice enough now let's come out from this and let's remove title action safe and just open this one okay so till now we have created our second comp also here I want to animate my smartwatch so let's open the rotation property of that, jump onto the zero frame, give the key on that. I'm just going to give the rotation like minus 40 degree, almost something like this. Okay, that's good enough. Let's jump onto the one second over here and let's make it the rotation of the zero. Okay, so that's good enough. Let's select the keys, jump into the graph editor. I am into the value edit graph. So if it's a graph is not visible like that, just right click into the graph editor and select the edit value graph. Now let's select this, press Alt and drag something like this one. Okay, and again with the same handle with the pressing Alt. Yes, that's done. Come out from the graph editor over here and I'm just going to give the name as an end and with the going with the same attribute, let's make it okay. So it's done also. Now what I need, I'm going to create one solid over here that is the white. Uh, solid and let's give the name as a BG and let me take OK. So it's done. Again, I'm going to type one word over here. So that is my B R A N D brand and factory F A C T O R Y. OK, let's uh, change the shade of these. I'm just going to apply the 141621 and bluish black. So let's done and let's apply into the center of the composition over here and let's make it a little bit bigger. Something like this. OK, that's good enough. OK, leave it. So you can see that we have almost ready the thing our three of comp are ready. I'm just going to create a one new composition over here. Just give the name as a main and let's make it okay. And now let's make our 
start comp mid comp and our end comp over here so that's good enough now right click just new and create a null object over here and let's parent our all the composition with the null object and i am going to animate the null scale property so let's open the scale property give the key over here let's jump onto the one second almost like this and i'm going to make it a let me hide this one okay i want to make something bigger something like this one but there will be going to be some issue let me show you what is exactly going to be happen so as i have done my second comp is going to be so much bigger so now what i will do i am just open my mid comp and let's open the scale property and then make it little bit adjust as v required so then this is exactly v need so we have adjusted something like this one now let's select these keys and uh jump into the graph editor again we are going to add the graph so i am pressing alt and dragging something like up over there let's select this one and dragging something like this and press shift so the tangent will follow the straight line so that is done now what i need exactly when it's going to be start the animation of the first comb will be visible at the start and then what i will to do i want to use one transition which will reveal my second uh storyboard or you can see the second screen so for that i am going to use one amazing transition which normally artist not use it but, but it is really really comfortable and if they are using they are not showing you i you normally use in my product advertisement or where the transition is most required uh, i normally use this when it is a circle transition so let me show you what exactly i am going to use so i am just selecting my mid layer and jump into the effect panel and i'm going to select uh, jump into generate and we have a circle option over here maybe a city circle option over here now when i open so basically i use for the motion graphics transition mainly but in advertisement uh, kind of work i use this one also so what is happening here it is that you can use for motion graphics so you can see that it's like a graphics you can make a duplicate things but i need my image inside that so here you have the blending mode just choose the stencil alpha so now you can see that my image inside that so i want to animate this so what i will do i'll just jump over here <coughs> one two three frames ahead and let's give the key onto the radius option and make the radius value zero over here into circle uh, transition uh, circle effect and let's jump over here and come back one two three and i'm going to give the value let's make it a little bit uh, zoom out and let's make something like which is cover our whole composition so that's done i think yes okay 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 let's done yes it's good enough so now what is going to be happen is covered everything but it's not hide so what we have to do just jump into the over here let's create a one solid and change the shade into the black color and let's make it okay and let's make it okay let's put it back and give the name also to the bg so that's good enough and let's make the jump into the start over here so now uh, sorry main comp so now you can see that when it's coming in so it's going to be zoom and it's clearing something like this one now we have to change these transitions so let's select press u and select the keys over here jump into the graph editor again we are into the value edit graph <coughs> sorry let's select this point press alt and drag the tangent something like this okay that's going good i am going to select this one also and drag the tangent something like this one okay that's good enough so now what is going to be happen it is covering something like this so i think we have to change this graph into the may start comp so let's jump over here and i think i can remove this tracker so it's not a big deal so let's select this and let's delete this okay that one will be a good option let's jump over here and now let's check it yes that's look good now that's look good and better amazing that's look really amazing okay the transition is not completed over here so we have to change the value for this let's come over here and let's increase a little bit some values okay that's done so our first part is ready we have reveal our second graphics over here now we want to reveal a third graphics which is our brand's name so what i will do i am just going to jump a 10 frame ahead or 1 2 3 4 5 15 frames ahead and give the scale key on null object let's jump again a uh, 20 frames and give the key again on this one but here i want to change my value little bit down and let's make it visible over here so our brand factory tag should be center something like over here so that is exactly going to be visible now again what i need i want to change the graph over here so i'm just going to select this jump into the graph editor 
and what I will do, I'm just going to select and drag this something up like over here. So I will get some kind of amazing bouncy animation guys. And now let's drag it also and something make like this one. So that will be the good enough. So if you can see, let me show you which kind of animation was generated over there. Yes, you can see that it's bounce. Nice. Now what I need, I want to reveal this from over here. So let me apply the same effect which we apply on our mid composition. So let's select this control C and let's apply on our end composition also. Now let's open the animated property over here and let's dump something like over here. So that will be the good enough. And let's see the animation first of all, which kind of result we have got. You can see that it's looking really, really amazing motion graphics animation, or you can say that product launch advertising motion graphics animation. Hope you like this tutorial, so just give on the hit like button, subscribe button, share button and also comment how much you like this tutorial 